Good evening, everyone. My name is Mr. Lockwood, and I'm the principal. I think I know most of you clearly by now. Um, but I just wanted to speak to you personally today rather than just send an email about the strange times that's happening at the moment, specifically with working at home. And if you're in years 11, 13, and 14, and even year 12, in fact, actually, um, a bit more contextualization ideas around what's going on with examinations. So hopefully today was your first day of home learning, a little bit of a strange experience. Um, first of all, thank you for your patience with Firefly this morning. We are aware there was a few issues with capacity and Firefly will actually be down overnight as the company worked really hard to put more bandwidth and infrastructure behind their servers to allow a lot more people to get on. Clearly there was a national demand in all of the online learning services this morning as the entire country uh, gets used to this new way of working for the foreseeable future and certainly for the next 12 uh, weeks to three months. So it's strange times for teachers, it's strange time for students and I'm sure as parents it's also very confusing uh, as well juggling having students around the home as well as obviously often for yourself completing your work at home. So first of all thank you for your patience, thank you for your understanding in these strange times. What's pretty clear from the science over the weekend is that absolutely the safest place for you to be is at home uh, and to stay at home and in fact the worrying thing over the weekend was the increased number of young people um, who sadly also um, were infected and we also had the youngest person at 18 sadly pass away so my first message to this evening is you know as a young person you are not immune from this virus you're also highly at risk at passing that virus on to other people so it's really important uh, that you stay at home as well during that process um, most importantly um, log yourself on check in the morning please can we ask parents and students please can you make sure students are logging in between the hours of 9 and 9 30 I was walking around rooms today catching up uh, with members of staff and seeing all of you logging in and first of all from those using the app um, seem to have a lot more success but thank you really exciting to see you logging and checking with your tutors and practicing it and as I said if zoom doesn't work please do use Outlook to communicate. A lot of the questions I've had over the last few days have been from students, especially in years 11 uh, and in 13 and 14, saying, do I still need to revise, given the fact that the government on Friday announced that there will be a simulated grade? Well, at the moment, though it's been announced around the simulated grade, and there's a lot of information we don't know. So I'm going to try and explain a little bit more to you in the next few minutes around what we know so far and what you should be doing. So first of all, anything around simulated grade um, is going to come from the teacher. So on Friday, the Secretary of State confirmed that there would be a announced the fact that grades would come from a series of information, one of them being the information provided by the school. This will be based on teachers and then the school judgment on the qualification that a learner is likely to achieve at the end of their course of study. This is based on the performance on a range of assessments, including your mock exams, any coursework which has been undertaken, any teacher judgment so far. These are, cannot be based on um, ambitious, this is what we hope the child to receive, but based on data we have. That data, therefore, is also then provided to the government. They will also utilise prior attainment. And when the government mean prior attainment, what they're talking about is what you got in your primary school in terms of your key stage two SATs. Now, I'm fully aware that some of our learners here, some of our students don't have key stage two SATs. That could be because of the type of school they went to. They could have been abroad or they may not have actually sat the key stage two SATs. As a result of that, other evidence will come in and they'll be asking us and doing comparisons against other students as well. What the government have promised is this set of results will not be out of line with previous results on previous years. So there are a lot of mathematical benchmarking is going to be going in by the exam boards behind the scenes to give that distribution across the country and across the schools. What does that mean for you if you're in year 11 or 13? Does that mean that you can just sit back and relax and not do anything? Absolutely not. And this is my clear message. First of all, when they're talking about simulated grades, they are talking about the actual GCSEs and the actual A-level exams. They are not talking about your vocational courses. They are not talking about BTECs. They're not talking about your German. They are not talking about your sports, your business studies at this time. Those are vocational qualifications. With a vocational qualification, you've been doing assignments, you've been doing coursework. The indication at the moment is that will continue. 
So your teachers will be setting you a revised uh, assignments, revised things that you can do at home and revise timelines for that. It is absolutely imperative that you carry on doing your work on those assignments because that is where the grade will come from. Exactly the same thing applies for year 12 and applies for year 10 students. Your BTEC continues and your other exams continue. It is absolutely vital that you continue doing your work. The other thing for year 11, 13 and 14 is quite clearly there's going to be, even though they promised to say that they don't think there's going to be a difference in previous years, I am sceptical at this. Because quite rightly, they then said there's the opportunity to resit very, very early in next year and even to do your exams next year. That clearly tells me there's some doubt in the system and therefore it is imperative that you also continue your revision and you continue your study. Let's be honest though, in realism, at this point in the year, you would have been going on to your exam leave anyway. It is now expected that you would be revising from home, working for your materials, getting exam ready. Clearly you need to be working on the same premise, but actually getting ready for exams in October uh, time. So you should continue to work through that and staff will continue to make sure there's revision materials and there's things for you to do along the way. They may well continue to set you some tests. Do these tests, this is getting you ready. And quite rightly, if you're in years 13 and you're years 14, you are getting ready to go on to the next stage of your destinations, which is to university, onto apprenticeships, into employment. The knowledge that you gain is absolutely real knowledge that you will need in those courses. So again, it's vital that you're communicating and it's vital that you're continuing to work through your pieces of work. To sum summarize then, if you are in year nine, You've been set your work, continue with the work and go through your project work as you've been set by your teachers. If in your year 10, exactly the same. Work hard, follow your work for your GCSEs, follow your work and submit your assignments for your BTECs from home. It will count. Year 12, you will continue to do your work on preparation on your A-levels and continue to do your work on your BTEC, please. And those assignments will be adjusted and your assignments will also be adjusted to allow you to do certain things at home. For example, if one of them requires a practical, clearly you may not be able to do the practical at home, but you'll be able to do everything else around it and you'll be given a set of data from a practical for you to do all your write-up from. So you can absolutely complete that to those deadlines. In years 11, 13 and 14, from your BTEC, German, business studies, all of that and sports, if they apply your vocational courses, they absolutely still apply and your teachers will be sending you the assignments and revised assignments for you to do. Your A-levels and your GCSEs will be a simulated grade, which will come from the government based on evidence from the members of staff here, from myself and from your prior data. Please do not keep emailing your teachers. Please do not email in terms about that exam grade. Please email your teachers about any work, but don't email your teachers about the exam grade saying, please give me a really high grade. I'm an amazing student. I would have done really well, or even I'll pay you loads and loads of money if you give me a high grade. It's a nice idea, but it's not going to work. There is a clear mathematical calculation based on evidence being done in school, which will go to the government and they will apply their mathematical calculations to it as well. You cannot manipulate the system. We, of course, always want the best for our students and will be fairly and proportionally working through that system. It is a strange time. I'll come back to the points being made by the Prime Minister and other people across the news over the last few days. Please do stay in. The safest place for you is to be inside. Parents, please ensure you know where your students are. Being in terms of social distances does not necessarily apply by allowing your child to go out anywhere. If lots going on, please keep them safe, please keep them indoors. If you've got any questions, the school is supporting. We are here online to help you. We do have a key worker provision going on. Today, only two students turned up for that, uh, two, uh, two students in year 10. A lot of you replied to me saying, as parents, you were key workers, and I'm presuming you've got alternative provision in place. Clearly, I have to look after my employees, and opening an entire school for a small number is not appropriate for the safety of my staff. Therefore, we will be having a small skeleton team running at the moment to cope with a small number of students. If your situation changes as a key worker or as a vulnerable student, and you know that you're gonna to need to pick up the service, that is okay, but I do please request that you contact the school via Miss Acton at roof.acton at aueea.co.uk, and that's been given an email to you, so you can please contact 24 hours ahead to say, from 
24 hours time and at tomorrow's time I will need uh, my child to come into school for these reasons and please we will then look to put that provision in place at the moment we've got a small provision on place for the small number of students that are attending to keep them safe we wish you all the very best through this time keep working work hard and I'll be checking in regularly with you uh, via uh, zoom as well as on email to keep you up to date with everything that's going on thanks very much checking out